welcome back to the channel. I am driving, and so I'm not going to look at the camera too much. Just try to be safe here. Uh, this video is going to cover ignition lock cylinder um, issues, we'll call it. My particular vehicle is a 2002 Toyota Avalon, but from what I've read, this will cover, I think it's 98 to 03 Avalon. Um, or any Toyota, or for that matter, any vehicle that has the same design of lock cylinder with or without a transponder key. In my case, it's with a transponder key, um, but this will work in either case. So the issue I was having, um, in a nutshell, or the customer was having, I should say, is they had two issues. One was that the ignition lock cylinder was failing enough to where they could hardly get the key into the cylinder, in or out, actually more so out. Once they would get it in, it would just get stuck in the lock cylinder and it took forever to get it out. But then the secondary issue, which was related to that, was that they couldn't turn the key. So you'd have to sit and wiggle the key, or go in and out, or up and down, or whatever, um, for actually she said up to an hour and a half one night to actually get the key to turn. Um, so basically what I tried to do is what I've done on other vehicles is grease things up real good, put the key in and out as many times as I can and clean it off each time I take it out just to get any of the gunk out of there and get the WD-40 or whatever worked in better. And I did that for about an hour and that did not work. But one interesting thing is each time I took the key out I'd get little brass shavings along with it, or I shouldn't say brass, brass colored shavings, which indicated to me that the tumblers on the, the lock were failing. So anyway, the fix that I came up with was, I'm gonna pull in and park here and show it to you real quick. But what I did is remove the lock cylinder, which on this vehicle is no big deal. You have a few Phillips screws and a 10 millimeter bolt that allows you to remove the trim under the steering wheel, and then a single Phillips screw to remove the transponder ring around the lock, and then you have to you have to at least turn it to the on position, which might take you a while depending on how stuck your lock is, but you have to turn it to the on position to release the kind of the pin that allows you to pull the lock cylinder out. So Anyway, I got that out, and I'll show you what I came up with. All right, so what we did, I'm gonna shut the car off, I just drove it here. What I did is went over to a friend's house who does some woodworking, and we took, I think this is a one inch oak dowel. And what you have down in here is kind of a tang, a metal tang, and I'll show you on the lock cylinder, this slot goes into that tang, and that's what turns the ignition switch. So anyway, what we did is took this oak dowel, kind of measured out the depth so that it fit into the hole where the original, this is the original trim and transponder ring just without the ignition lock. So it fits into that hole nicely, put some electrical tape on it to make it a nice, um, not necessarily tight, but just a nice fit so that it can still turn easily. We cut a slot to match that tang down in there and then cut another slot to match the key because with this being a transponder, you can't start the vehicle without the original key in the ring. So I could even hold it right here and it won't start. It has to be in that ring. So I can turn this, um, turn this dowel just as is and it won't start the car. It'll crank and crank and crank, but it won't start. I'll try to show you that actually, if I can. Well, maybe I can't, but anyway, you gotta believe me. So what we did is cut this slot for the key. The key goes right in there, and you can just act as if this is your uh, original lock cylinder and start the car. You can even remove the key once it starts and it's okay. This is the original key. And then you shut it off just like you normally would. This stays with the car, and you just take your key as normal. So 
that's the fix. Hopefully this helps you. Um, if you're working on this particular vehicle and need any of the specs, I can try to give those to you, but we just whipped this up in about 10 minutes from, I believe, a one-inch oak dowel. It might be three-quarter, but you'll just want to measure your hole and uh, make the dowel accordingly. So hopefully this helps once again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.